I'm having such a fun time using the new features added to the OpenAI API. Um, it's November 7th, this was all added yesterday, and uh, in this Bubble Tutorial video, I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how we can uh, add text to speech. Um, and honestly, this is some of the best text to speech that I've heard. I was saying to um, my, my family last week, in fact, that we've now got AI text generation that is often better than nine out of 10 people in the room in the ability to like write well in you know, write well English write English well yeah see a the problem there um, and that we've got image APIs that are now getting so close to being able uh, to provide photorealistic images that came you know came from nothing well came from the model um, but what we are missing is the ability to speak to one another or AI to speak to us in a way that is convincingly human and I think that OpenAI have got really close with this one but before I launch into it um, we are Planet No Code and we are a bubble education resource. If you want to build a SaaS online, if you want to launch a business online uh, and you are not a coder, then look no further because we've got hundreds of videos uh, using this platform here. It's called Bubble. It allows you to build software without using any code or maybe just a little bit of code. But when you need code, I'm here to explain it. Um, and this is what this does. Uh, so I will click speak and it submits the text. Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And hopefully uh, that came through, but uh, you see I've got an embedded audio player here. Now let me show you exactly what's going on. We're using uh, this guide here from OpenAI, and so I'm in their documentation, I'm in their text to speech section, and we basically need to take this and plug it into our bubble app. Uh, so let me show you how I've done that. If I go into plugins, I've got my OpenAI uh, endpoint, um, API call set up here, and this is all in the Bubble API Connector plugin. Now, there are loads of plugins available to Bubble, but often if they're integrating in with a third party service, they're not actually adding anything uh, to it that you can't do yourself by looking at that third party, in this case, OpenAI, uh, looking at the API documentation and building it up yourself. So, we've got uh, the label I've given it, OpenAI. We need to authenticate the call and we authenticate it with the private key in the header using the label authorization with the word bearer preceding our API key. How do I know that? Well, I go back into the documentation and I see that in the header of the call, I have authorization, bearer API key. I also need content type application JSON and my endpoint here, uh, V1 audio speech. And so you will see that in my bubble app, I've got my endpoint. I've got it set as an action because I want to be able to uh, trigger this in a workflow. I'm going to show you that in a moment. I say that the returning data is a, a file because OpenAI just responds with an MP3 file ready to play the audio. Um, and uh, then in the body section here, I look to the documentation and all I did was copy everything here, not including the outside quote marks, but everything within the curly brackets. Um, and I also changed the voice because having listened to all of these yesterday, I think the best one is Onyx. But leave a comment below if you think that a different one of the voices is more convincing. Uh, I'd love to, uh, to see and read your thoughts there. And then I've just added in using the triangle brackets, basically a merge tag or a variable or a dynamic value. And uh, I've got my, my text in here. And then I clicked initialize and that told me I didn't have any issues or errors. Uh, and that then means that open AI text to speech becomes an action that I can add into my workflow. So I've got my text box here and I've got my button and I will go on there and I, will have gone in and I will go plugins and I'll go text to speech and add it in and it will look just like this. I then say here is the text uh, that I'm sending over and remember it replies back with a file and I knew that would happen because the output is just an mp3 file and so I have to do something with that in order for Bubble to be able to work with it and uh, I'm just using a custom state. Now, custom states are a way of temporarily storing data. Um, I should be, uh, yeah, uh, it's temporary storing data. What I was thinking about is surely the file is saved somewhere, but what I mean by temporary storing data is that I'm not saving the file to my database or I'm not like saving a value to my database. Um, ah, but I am actually saving the file to the database. 
Okay, that's a little bit confusing, but basically it means that I'm not creating an entry. There we go, an entry in my database for the file, but I am actually, I have to have some sort of storage because I need to be able to refer to it. And so you can see here that it is saving them uh, to, uh, uh, to, to my bubble app storage. Um, but I need a way of retrieving that. Uh, so I need to be able to know the location of the saved file. And that's why I've got a custom state. And so I've got a custom state on the page of type file and I've labeled it file and my page is called TTS for text to speech. Uh, and so I say set state of element TTS, custom state label is file. And then it's just the result of my first call. Now, how do I get it to auto play and how have I got this audio player here? Well, it's just HTML5 audio player. Um, and so I've got uh, my audio uh, element here and I say show the controls and also auto play. And that just means that as soon as I put a, a file in there, it's going to play it. Um, and uh, then the source is my custom state URL. And then uh, I just copied this, I think, from, from, a, from a, a website that gave me the code uh, and so there's that little disclaimer in there about the browser not supporting the current audio element but that would only really nowadays apply to very old browsers right let's give it another test so if i refresh the page you see that there is not a file there is nothing to play but if i say speak the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog there we go and uh, let's take something a little bit more yeah, a bit, a bit more of a weighty piece of text, and let's try that instead. Uh, oh, no, I reckon I'll get syntax error here. Well? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, Okay, I was wondering if I'd get a JSON syntax error because of the use of the uh, colon here and whether I need to make it JSON safe, but it seems like it actually worked just fine. So there you go. That is how we can use text to speak, uh, text to speech in the bubble app. And I think that the OpenAI's text to speech is the best in the business. It literally only came out yesterday. If there are any other text to speech models that you think are better, please leave a comment down below. If you've got any questions, leave a comment down below because we read every single one and they inspire us to make even better videos in the future.